Hi everyone, I have an exciting haul to share with you today. I got some things in from Hobonichi, but I ordered them from Jet Pens. So I wanna show you what I got because one of the most exciting things is I got my very first official Hobonichi cover. This is the A6 cover, and in the past I have used fabric uh, covers. Like this one is from So What Else Is New, and um, this past year I've been using Midori MD notebooks with them. This is my second one. I really like them for just uh, quick notes and things like that. And I really do like the A6 size, but none of the covers had really spoken to me before now, but I just really love this one. And when I saw the preview, I had to get it. So it is just gorgeous. And like I said, I did decide to get uh, the Hobonichi again. And because I ordered this from Jet Pens, I had to get the uh, A6 planner in English, and this is just one book. I would have preferred the Avec, but I would have had to order from Japan to get that. I don't think it was an option with the covers. This is just such a beautiful cover. I think it's been really popular. And I just love this design. It's very whimsical looking and I realize this is probably not the San Francisco Bay, but it reminded me of our visits to San Francisco and look at, overlooking the Bay, obviously, when we lived there for six years. And I think it's done so that it really can be any city by a bay kind of look. And I just really liked it. And of course, I love critters and I just love the color palette. And I also really like that the inside was black because I feel that this will show less wear and tear over the time. And so I never had all these fun little pockets of places to slide things in. And it has the bookmarks and these, uh, the information. So this is the Count the Lights planner cover. And here's some information about the artist. And then this is the little pamphlet that comes with your cover. So I'm really excited for this and I'll show you, like I said, this is the A6 and I think that the little, uh, the little information sheet is so cute. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but we have two cats, so we're definitely a cat family and we just, I just think this is just such a cute illustration. And because I got the English planner, the information is all in English. So that is kind of fun too. So I will actually be able to read the things without using the translator app. I just think that's super cute. And here's the planner. It's in English, so it doesn't have all the colors down the side. Like in my cousin this year, all of the months have a different color, but it's um, a little more neutral when it's in English. It has the sort of um, yearly, um, I used to use this for my tracking my exercise and pre-planning. Uh, it has the nice calendar. It, does, it has daily pages, but it does not have weekly pages, so I, I was pretty sure that the weekly insert would be far too small for me to use. So I do not plan to get the, t um, the A6 weekly uh, supplement. I think that I might just have to, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this as a journal, if I'm going to actually use this as a daily planner. Okay, so I have edited out the portion where I am struggling to get the planner actually inside of my holder. But because this is sort of a black cover interior and the cover of the actual planner is black, I'm thinking that this time I might not put an additional cover. Last time I had an MD cover on top of my uh, A6. And then I would put it in a cover like this but I think because I'm gonna be putting a cover on cover, I will just simply slide this in the way it's meant to be used. So I was just watching Job from Job's Journal put his uh, cover on cover on his Count the Lights uh, Hobonichi <laughs> cover. A lot of covers there. 
So I saw from him putting it on that you don't have to worry about trying to get these inside of the plastic because they are positioned so that you don't have to worry about it. That this is just the right length so that your pen loops can sit on the other side and then your cover can be protected. So it, he also mentioned that the Count the Lights planner has a really nice feel to it, the cover, and he didn't like the plastic as much and I would have to agree with him. But this is such a beautiful cover and I'm sure it's, you know, a limited edition thing. It's not like in a couple of years I'll be able to buy a new one. So I definitely want to protect it and keep it beautiful looking as long as possible. So I'm definitely planning to just deal with the plastic cover and put it in here. So this is so gorgeous. I'm just so happy. No other Hobonichi cover has quite spoken to me like this one. So I'm glad that I waited. Last year I really wanted to get a Hobonichi cover but I didn't really connect or feel really drawn to any of them. So I'm glad I waited for the perfect one that I just really really love and I just think this is beautiful. And then to go with it I got some accessories. I do not play this particular game but my daughter does. And I also thought that this sort of like critter design would kind of go cute because of the little fox on the telephone booth. So I think it's a really cute pencil board. I do have, I do have an A6 pencil board from a previous year. Oh, this blue looks so nice with this little bit of blue and it kind of coordinates nicely with the bookmarks. But I just thought it'd be nice to have a new, um, to, have a, to have a new one. And these are relatively in, inexpensive accessories. So I got that and then, even though I did not repurchase a Hobonichi Cousin this year so far, I wanted to get a pencil board because I do use a lot of A5 notebooks and journals. And I really, really love the colorway. It is pink. And then the background color is kind of a deep navy and it's really beautiful. So I'm sure I'll be able to use this A5 one. And then one of the really exciting fun things is, is that I splurged and I got both stamp sets. And these, if you can read Japanese, these might be in the wrong packages. I did open them up to look at them so I could tell you what I thought ahead of time. So here they are out of the packaging. These were a little expensive, I'm not gonna lie, from Jet Pens. There's probably some kind of markup, but I just really wanted the ability to be able to make as many of these as I wanted and I did not want to have these be in a consumable form because they are also available as stickers. And I really liked this, the idea of this little set where this is a very standard size of small ink pads so I've already tried some other brands and if these dry out or if I prefer to use a different color I can easily switch them out and I just really like the idea of this being so portable. And like I said, the images are just adorable. And here's the other set. They are so, so cute. And I do like the level of thickness of the actual image. So when you stamp this, you might get some of the edges when you stamp, but the image is pretty, it's raised pretty well off of the base. So I didn't really have that much trouble where when I would ink it, cause these are juicy ink pads. So when I would ink it, I would get, I would get a little ink on the sides. And as long as you're stamping at a relatively firm, solid, um, you know, surface, you shouldn't have problems with getting your edges, the ink on it. And I did ink in my, um, I did stamp a little bit in my Hobonichi, but I wanted to show you these are in fact very tiny images, but for being so tiny, I think they have pretty good detail. I mean, you know, you see the little eyes, you see the polka dots on the, um, or the little chocolate chips on the um, cookie. And then you, all, you even see the little crumbs that, have been left from taking a bite out of that cookie. So here is how they look. And on the Hobonichi, because the lines on the weekly layout does, there are, it is a grid. You can see the grid through it. So if I want the stamp image to show up a little bit more, I, I'm going to stamp them on these little um, blank 
labels that I was able to find just in the office section and then just kind of loosely fussy cut around them because they are so small. They're really, really cute and I, I feel like these are definitely worth the splurge. If you like stamping and if you like stamping in your Hobonichi, I will say that there was very minimal, um, there was some shadowing, but I didn't have bleed through at least when I used them so far. So thanks so much for coming to see my little haul, even though it wasn't, it wasn't little in price because these stamps are like, I think $17 each US. But like I said, this is a non-consumable supply, so I plan to have them for a long time. And you know, obviously most of this stuff I can use for many years to come. I'm really, really excited. And thank you for coming to see what I got. Bye for now.